Are your staples not feeding in the magazine? If so, you could need a new feeder assembly. The feeder assembly houses a recoil spring and pulley. The pulley has a retractable cable attached to it. The feeder assembly attaches to the feeder shoe, and the feeder shoe rides on a rail in the magazine and pushes the staples forward. The cable attaches to the nose piece. Typical problems with the feeder assembly are a broken cable, a broken recoil spring, or damage to the mounting eyelet or housing. Replacing the feeder assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rail cover. It's held in place by the hinge screw. Now remove the feeder drum for the rail, and it's secured with a nut. The feeder cable is secured to the nose piece by a very small roll pin. I'll use a punch to tap it out. I don't need to remove it completely, just enough to slide the cable off of it. bit more. Now install the new feeder. I'll place the feeder shoe over the rail. The long portion should be towards the front. Now I need to reinstall the cable eyelet to the nose piece, and this part can be a little difficult. The easiest way to do this is to tap the roll pin in until you have an opening that's just large enough to slide the eyelet through. So I'll turn the gun over. Tap the roll pin in just a bit and double check it. Probably want to go just a little bit more. That should work. I'll grab the eyelet with my needle nose pliers. And I want to slide the eyelet in and just hook it over that roll pin. All right, it's hooked in place. I'm gonna hold that right there, tip the gun up. Okay, I've got it in place over the roll pin. I'll insert my punch onto the roll pin and tap it into place. Just a little bit more. Now I can reinstall the rail cover. The L-shaped portion of the hinge spring fits into this groove on the cover. Hold that in place, install it onto the gun, and thread the hinge screw back into the gun. And I'll tighten the screw back up. And that's how easy it is to install a new feeder on your stapler. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up 